While testing the GTX 1080 Ti by Gigabyte recently, I asked myself the question whether or not an AMD Ryzen CPU would in fact bottleneck or basically slow down a 1080 Ti. The Ryzen processor in question here is the Ryzen 7 1700X. What's the performance difference, if any, between an Intel i7 7700K and a Ryzen 1700X, with both systems paired with the same 1080 Ti GPU? Both the AMD and Intel processors will be run at their stock clock speeds, basically out of the box performance. The exact graphics card I'm gonna use for this experiment is the Gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti Gaming OC Black. I've reviewed that one recently. Let's not waste any more time, let's get straight to it! So, as you've clearly seen, when something like a Ryzen 7 1700X is paired with one of the most powerful graphics cards on a market like a GTX 1080 Ti, the CPU is the limiting factor in this case. At least the Intel's i7 7700K allows the 1080 Ti to perform much better most of the time. When running those games at 1080p or even 1440p, there's a very noticeable performance drop on AMD's side. The higher the resolution, of course, the smaller the gap gets, which is why the F FPS results at 2160p or 4K are pretty much identical. That's because the GPU is the limiting factor at those high resolutions again, not the CPU. But with those lower ones like 1440p and 1080p, you're missing out on quite a hefty amount of frames per second. But wait a second, while the difference might appear huge, practically we're still way above the 100 FPS mark even on the Ryzen system, at least most of the time, with a few exceptions like Far Cry Primal. And in some game titles, the Ryzen system even comes out on top by a little bit. Now, I would have loved running the same tests all over again with the Ryzen CPU overclocked to something like 4 GHz or so, but unfortunately I did not have enough time for that due to some technical issues. While you may not get the full potential a 1080 Ti might be able to offer at those lower resolutions 1080p and 1440p, practically you're still experiencing a very good gaming experience. If you maybe want to go with high refresh rate monitors, then you might have a bit of a harder time, but other than that, I don't see much of a problem. Theoretically, yes, definitely, don't get me wrong, but practically, how many of us really notice a difference between, let's say, 100 and 130 FPS or so, right? Previously I've tested with a GTX 1070, and it turns out the GPU is the bottleneck then. This makes me think a GTX 1080 would probably be the best GPU you could pair with a Ryzen 7, when keeping the costs in mind. And yeah, these are my opinions. Let me know yours too. And as always, thanks for watching.